Hi, I'm Michelle Dirksen, and today in this prayer vignette, we want to consider hearing the voice of God. If you were blindfolded and your mom came into a room, how quickly do you think you would recognize her voice? How about if your child did? Or what about if a cousin did? Okay, so what would it feel like or how quickly would you recognize the voice of your next door neighbor? The ability to recognize the voice goes along with the intimacy of the relationship often, doesn't it? If my mom were to walk into a room when I was blindfolded, I'm pretty sure I would be able to pick out her voice within a few words. Why is that? It's because I'm familiar with her voice. I talk with her almost every day. I can tell within a few words if she's happy or sad, if she's tired or inspired. I can even tell pretty quickly in a conversation by the way she speaks if she has a headache that day. At least five times in First and Second Samuel, we see the phrase repeated, and David inquired of the Lord, and the Lord said, or and the Lord answered. For example, when David was facing his enemy in 2 Samuel 5.23, it says, So David inquired of the Lord, and he answered, Do not go straight up, but circle around behind them and attack in front of the poplar trees. That's pretty clear and specific instructions. David heard and knew God's voice clearly. He was so familiar with the conversation that he freely asked God questions and fully expected God's answers. He was also careful to obey Father's instructions when he got them. When's the last time that you asked God a question and then listened for the answer? This is a key part of prayer. God speaks. We just often aren't listening and aren't attentive to his answer. A number of years ago, I was at a retreat with some other colleagues, and we were practicing listening to God's voice in prayer. We were in groups of three, and two of us were asked, or two of us asked God what he would like to say to the third person. We sat quietly for a moment as we prayed that, and then we listened. And we were encouraged to be attentive, to write down, maybe it would be a word, maybe it would be a verse, maybe a picture. We were encouraged not to try to justify it or analyze it, just write down what we sensed God say to our hearts when we were asking that question of him, and then offer that as a gift to the third person in our group. I paused quietly and a verse immediately came to mind, but it was a hard verse, not an encouraging one, and I was really hesitant to share it with the person in my group with who I was praying for. As I gave that verse, or as I started, I said, I really don't understand the meaning of this for you, but this is what I sense God bring to my mind for you, so I offer it. As I shared that verse, the man was deeply moved. He was going through a really difficult time that he hadn't shared with anyone, and that verse verse spoke specifically to his situation, and it was an encouragement to him that God was with him in it. There's no way that I could have known that, and there's no way I would have chosen that verse to encourage that man on my own. But by taking time to ask Father what he might want to say to my friend, That allowed him to speak directly and right to the depth of my friend's heart. God is speaking. Are you listening or asking? If you feel like you have a hard time recognizing or hearing God's voice for yourself, try asking him what he might like to say to someone else. And then be willing to step out of your comfort zone and share what you hear, not in an authoritative way, but as an offering. You may be a lifeline or a hope giver in an otherwise lonely journey. This is a really encouraging way to pray for and with others. And it's also a great way to become more familiar with what God's voice sounds like so that we can recognize it within a few words.